Hello and welcome to this Android development tutorial brought to you by North Border Software. My name is Gary. Uh, this is the eighth and final part of the series where we're looking at how to work with uh, Google Maps for Android. Um, so it's just really just a couple of things I want to round off in this tutorial. Uh, first of all, um, we've been adding quite a lot of markers to the map and it'd be good to actually clear the map down. So I'm going to get this clear button uh, working as well. Um, I also want to set up a um, an on map click listener as well uh, that'd be useful if you want to go to a specific point on map and just add a marker or some some other information there so we'll look at the uh, on map click listener first of all um, so to get on with the map on map click listener I'm actually going to put the um, on map click listener within the on map ready uh, callback method I found from my own experience if you um, put the map click listener in the main body of the text here it, uh, the app tends to um, crash um, so to get the maximum stability I'm just going to put in the on map ready um, listener here so um, I could put it pretty much anywhere um, let's just put it in here so if I just put uh, M map I'm just going to set uh, on map click listener Okay, so I just want to look at this little framework we've just created here now. Um, you'll notice that when uh, we click a, on a point on the map, um, we generate a, a longitude and latitude of that particular location. Um, so we can use that to actually just add some information. All I'm going to do with this on map click listener is actually just add a longitude and uh, sorry, add a marker. Um, and we've actually done all the code for the marker already, so I'm just going to uh, go and find that and just copy that in. So I'm just going to set this um, part of the coast code here. I'll just paste that in there, and we'll just change this ID here. Uh, be from the on map click. Um, so that's all we need to do for that. Um, it's very straightforward, simple enough. Um, the final task I'm going to do is actually um, get the clear button working. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create an object of the uh, the button. Just call it button clear. And we'll just set it up here. So we'll just associate the object with the, um, the view and the layout. Okay, so all I've done is set up um, um, the object to the button, clear, and I've just associated that with uh, a view in the layout uh, here, and I've just set up a non-click listener. So actually, it's just a simple uh, single line of code we need to clear the map. It's quite simply um, map dot. Um, we just need to call the uh, clear method and that's all we need to do. So um, what I want to do now is just go and test the application and see how it runs. Okay, so um, I've loaded the uh, application on the emulator and I'm just going to start up the application. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just, um, just zoom into an area of the map. And what I'll do, I'll just um, click on that map and you can see it's just adding the marker in there and um, move the camera to the center of that marker. Just put another couple of three in there and they're all working fine. Um, so what I'll do now is just test the uh, clear button. So when I hit that, it just clears down all the markers. Uh, so the application is working as planned. Okay, so um, from a series of tutorials uh, looking at how to get started in using Google Maps for Android. That's really all I wanted to show. Um, it's quite a neat little application. What I think I'll do is use this as the foundation to do some more advanced work with Maps, uh, but those uh, are ready for a future project. Uh, anyway, hope you found this one useful. Um, catch you in the next set. Bye for now. Remember to like, share and subscribe if you found this tutorial set useful and all the source code and project files are available for download from my website. Thank you.